Before World War II, the American farmer had increased his ability to produce foodstuffs so that he was feeding himself and 10 other persons. This was a record of excellent accomplishment. Since the war, the farmer has nearly doubled his production until today he is feeding himself and 17 others. What made this greater increase possible? Power. Power made available through the farm tractor which meant greater efficiency. Alice Chalmers began taking the load off the farmer's back in 1914 with the 1018, which went right to work on a wide variety of jobs. The 612 tractor came along to cope with cultivating and a whole host of jobs. It developed the farmer's appetite for the use of still greater power, a demand which was met with that old workhorse, the Model E. The first pair of rubber-tired machines ever to appear in public the Model U tractor and the Corn Belt Combine, which became the all-crop harvester, signaled the real revolution in power farming. Close on their heels, or should we say on their wheels, came the UC, also on rubber. And the tractor power parade was really on the march with the advent of the rubber-tired WC. True boon on smaller farms was the rubber-tired Model B, which filled the need so well. It is still a leader, improved of course, but essentially the same tractor. Pure power isn't much help if it isn't usefully employed, and this need called for the development of a complete implement line. The Model G, for example, is a complete tractor, but the G is made doubly useful with its line of implements, which can be installed or removed in minutes. The truly modern CA tractor provides the power needed to haul two plows and discs, other tools in proportion, fills a niche peculiarly its own with its easy shift wheels, its traction booster hydraulic system, and the snap coupler, which cuts down on the time required to hitch and unhitch for another job. Last word in power for larger farms is the new WD-45 tractor with the power crater engine which delivers maximum power on ordinary gasoline. Those power shift wheels on the WD-45 simplify row spacing, fit it instantly to any job. Thanks to its traction booster, the WD-45 performs jobs other tractors of like power rating simply couldn't tackle and its snap coupler cuts way, way down on the time required to hook up for any given job. The story of tractor power is also the story of the modern tools which make it possible to use this power. Sampling a few major items serves to signify the importance of a great variety of specific tools, each for a specific application. Plowing time finds most WD-45 owners choosing the three-bottom hydraulic lifted plow which attaches to the traction booster system to become an integral part of the tractor. And this highly serviceable, efficient equipment is attached or detached in a minute. Potato growers, irrigation farmers, folks on side hill farms, all those who wish to plow without dead furrows favor the spinner plow which lays the furrows all one way no matter which way you want to go. The disc plow is exactly the right unit for some sections. Disc plows for both the CA and the WD-45 attach to the hydraulic system to work the traction booster, perform tasks which would otherwise require heavier tractors. Listers and bedders, along with lister planters, are available in a wide variety of arrangements. There are two row and four row models, and even a one-row model for the widely used B tractor. Mostly of the quick hitch style, they hook up or unhook in a jiffy, and they are front-mounted or rear-mounted to fit the job exactly. All the planters can be equipped with fertilizer cans either for direct fertilization or for side dressing. No planter arrangement could be called complete without two-row corn and cotton planter and fertilizer cans useful for larger operations as well as small and medium acreages. And the four row, which enables the biggest producer to stay out in front of the pressure at the time of the big push. Every field cultivator fits exactly the tractor for which it was designed. 
there is one just the right size for the B tractor and another for the CA, which is also so exactly matched that there need be no doubt about whether it will do the job. This pickup disc harrow performs jobs it couldn't formerly tackle because of the problems involved in getting it from place to place. But this equipment is now easily moved from field to field. It does a fine job when it gets there. And there is a size to fit almost every need. The new all-crop drill is also of the pickup variety. Easy to transport and easy to maneuver. Its snap coupler hitch is quick and simple. The microfeed for grain delivers uniform seeding, is the first step to a good stand. The force flow feeding for fertilizer puts the fertilizer just where you want it. It can overlap the tractor's wheel spacing, so wheel marks are eliminated. This all-crop drill delivers a whole barrel full of new planting advantages. The subsoiler caught on fast. It is quick and simple to attach and detach. Does a fine job of breaking up the old plow pan and of draining out the low spots. Here is how to prevent that runoff from side hills. Another set of tools saves a lot of labor at cultivating time. The wide variety of teeth and sweeps on the one row cultivator for the G and B tractors enables them to do a speedy economical job under any kind of conditions. The two row cultivator for the CA tractor is also designed to cope with any set of conditions. A delayed action hydraulic lift brings the front and rear gangs out of the ground at the same position, thus assures clean cultivation right up to the end of every row. The two row cultivator built for the WD-45 is efficient and versatile is adapted to a wide variety of crops, comes with a wide range of tooth and shovel setups to meet varying needs and soil conditions. The WD-45's four-row cultivator is designed for the big operator who has to get over a lot of ground in a hurry. It too has that delayed action lift, which makes it possible to cultivate closely right up to the end of every row. And of course, a range of teeth, sweeps and shovels which adapted to every situation. The West Coast grower, constantly confronted with the problems of irrigated land, depends on a specialized set of tools designed to solve his problems. Subsoilers, built in numerous sizes for use with different levels of power, efficiently break up that inevitable hard pan. This ditcher doesn't just dig ditches, it also keeps them clean is equally efficient at both jobs. The grower using irrigation must have equipment designed to meet his particular needs. He gets it too in the form of special cultivators with higher wheel tractors and longer shanks to provide good clearance in irrigated rows. Also tools and chisels to deal with every situation. A wide variety of implements can speedily be attached to this low cost toolbar which fulfills a long list of needs encountered in many kinds of farming and which greatly simplifies implement requirements. An assortment of heavy duty tools includes the right answer under any and all conditions. The cotton picker, with its speedy, economical, efficient, power driven equipment, replaces the many hands which formerly did this work. Cotton growers too get equipment exactly suited to the size of their operations. The one row picker is quickly detachable to make the tractor readily available for all those other jobs which must be sandwiched in between. The two row cotton picker has long since passed the severest tests to which it was subjected on the largest plantations. This two row picker quickly, efficiently handles the crop regardless of its condition. It replaces a multitude of hired hands has helped change the whole economy of the cotton producing South and West. The Model 66 all crop harvester can be powered by the CA or the WD 45 tractor, or it can be powered by its own power unit and hauled by a tractor of any size. The self propelled 100 all crop harvester requires neither tractor nor auxiliary motor, moves itself from place to place 
providing its own power as it goes. There is a 9 foot 100 and a 12 foot 100. You choose the size according to the crop. This machine harvests beans and peas efficiently, is commonly equipped with a pickup where grain does not ripen readily. A most versatile tool is the handy forage harvester. It chops forage direct from the field, or it picks up and cuts hay or straw from the windrow. A quick change of the header, and the forage harvester cuts corn or other row crops, performs in minutes those jobs which formerly ate up the hours. This machine, too, can be powered any one of several ways, by a CA tractor, by the WD-45 tractor, or by a power unit attached directly to it. Equally versatile is the forage blower. It fits just as neatly into the same picture, is equipped with its own power unit, or can be driven by belt from just about any tractor. This is a big capacity blower which can handle an enormous amount of forage or feed. This blower efficiently moves green hay, chopped or unchopped, dry hay, straw, green corn, almost anything in fact you wish to handle, including grain, into a bin or into a barn. Today's mower is practically a part of the tractor, makes short work of the hay harvest, comes in two types. This one, quickly hitched and unhitched, is practically a pull type. The second type is underslung or attached, is hung amidships, is a little easier to watch. The rake is now tractor powered and can be operated from the power takeoff of any AC tractor. The baler is still another useful tool which fits either the CA or the WD-45. Or the baler can also be fitted with an auxiliary motor. Hay and straw are baled at a remarkable rate. And the resulting bale is practically weatherproof, can be left in the field indefinitely without deteriorating. The bale loader does just what its name implies, takes all the load out of loading bales, is also used at the barn or stack where it takes the burden off the back a second time. Picking mechanically has of course supplanted what was once the cold, back-breaking job of hand husking. Now there's a corn picker just right for everybody. A one-row picker for smaller acreage, which is hitched and unhitched the normal way, and the two-row picker for the bigger acreage. This picker attaches directly to the tractor, makes short shrift of the biggest fields. There is a line of Alice Chalmers tractors which serve farmers indirectly in a hundred different ways. They help conserve his precious water supply, help protect his lands from flood, help build and repair the highways the farmer uses, help convert the product of the farmer's efforts into a thousand finished products, help round up the raw materials for the multitude of finished products the farmer has to have, help build the factories in which these products are assembled, it takes whole fleets of tractors to keep the wheels turning in the construction business. Dozens of HD-20s provide the power on jobs like the Garrison Dam in North Dakota. They push and pull those huge elevating graders, work the slopes and finish them off smooth as a tabletop, regardless of the grade. Tractors swarm all over job after job, bite off the toughest parts of the project, just as they did at the Palisades Dam construction in Idaho. You find those 20s on the job wherever the going gets really rough. They're made to order for heavy logging. The HD-15 has made a special place for itself in the big power field. There is seemingly no end to the heavy jobs this machine does successfully. Teaming up with a rock bucket to move great quantities of earth and rock, logging, building new logging roads, these are all in the day's work for the 15. The HD-9 isn't as big, but it's just as rugged, goes to work on an endless variety of lighter jobs. Many of these are similar to the heaviest jobs, but they don't always have to be cleaned up with quite the same dispatch. Just as efficient on still lighter jobs is that HD-5. Equipped with a tractor shovel, it loads dirt and gravel, even rocks. And this HD-5 is ideally suited to farm jobs which call for this kind of power. It's truly the handy-andy of the tractor line. 
The TS-200 motor scraper loads fast, then unloads on the run so it can hurry back for another load. Has no peer in the excavating business. The TS-300 does the same kind of a job in even bigger bites. Has a whole host of exclusive features with special appeal for the man with a big job that must be finished up fast. TR-200 and TW-300 motor wagons handle those big hauling jobs. Rock or ore, shale or just plain dirt, it makes no difference to this equipment. It dumps on the run when need be and is built in two sizes to fit every need exactly. A full line of rugged pull type scrapers are fitted to any given need. These scrapers load and unload fast. Here's still another instance where power lightens the load. It's the motor grader. The model AD40, for example, builds roads from scratch, rebuilds existing roads, and helps maintain all those highways which have had hard use. Here is a super powerful road machine that bites off the biggest jobs in the business standing up. The AD30 motor grader is expressly designed to deal with the smaller jobs. It is, of course, more economical on these jobs. But it, too, turns off an enormous volume of work. Boasts all the features of the big AD-40 except power steering. Marvel of the small grader field is the Model D motor grader. The small tandem drive motor grader which can be equipped with a loader for bucket work, with a windrow eliminator for shoulder maintenance, or an extension blade for maintenance work. Here is everything wanted in a small grader. Versatile little tractor of a hundred uses is the model IB. It cleans highways, mows lawns, helps maintain golf courses. Power units for every kind of work cut down on hand labor everywhere. Operating a hay dryer is comparatively a light task, but it is only one of the many uses for this B-125. Wet or dry, drought or deluge, this W-226 hitched up to an irrigation pump, provides surefire weather insurance regardless of the weather. Here comes the fuel for tractors. It's an E-563 working in an oil field, a job that goes on day and night, night and day, one of a thousand applications. To sample and picture all the products of the Alice Chalmers tractor division would take hours. You've seen a few. And you can be sure that the tractor line includes what you need and want something for every user of power, and most certainly, the right equipment for every farm and construction use. So if you haven't seen exactly what you want and need, just ask your Alice Chalmers dealer. Back of all Alice Chalmers farm equipment is all the engineering know-how of the Alice Chalmers General Machinery Division to which all industry looks for help. Huge turbo generators, gigantic transformers, flour mills and cement mills, switch gears, tex rope drives, small motors and big motors, pumps. If it makes power or takes power for industry or agriculture, Alice Chalmers builds it.